Summer is here, and it's expected to be one of the busiest hurricane seasons in recorded history. And thanks to climate change, the intensity of these storms is increasing. It's why weather prediction is now more important than ever before, and it's still hard to do. Diana Olick is here with the latest in her continuing series on climate startups. Diana, they think they have a better mousetrap now? They do, Kelly. Look, the weather forecasting space is becoming increasingly crowded, much of that, of course, thanks to AI. So investors are seeing big opportunity, especially in startups. As hurricanes, tornadoes, wildfires and drought become more frequent and more intense, weather forecasting becomes that much more critical. Entrants to the field like Tomorrow.io, Google DeepMind and California-based Windborn are using new technologies to both disrupt and detect. We operate the most comprehensive balloon constellation on the planet um, and we also do AI-based weather modeling. Um, and so our mission is to mitigate the most destructive aspects of climate change. Windborne's balloons can fly for weeks, as opposed to today's government-launched weather balloons, which stay aloft for just a few hours and cannot reach remote locations. So this means that we can collect roughly 40 to 50 times more, da more data per balloon. Um, and we can also collect this data over oceans and over underobserved areas by launching from easy-to-reach launch sites. The balloons use satellite communication to deliver their data in real time. The world currently lacks weather data for 85% of the atmosphere. Windborne's goal is to close this gap with its technology, using fewer balloons to offer global coverage. Demand for this data from both government and big business has the funding flowing. Winborn just closed a $15 million round with lead investor Kozla Ventures. There's about a $100 billion market now, and it touches pretty much every industry. And it hasn't really been meaningfully disrupted since the weather company in the 1990s. So that makes it a very attractive market for us. In addition to Kozla, Winborn is backed by Footwork VC, Pair VC, Convective Capital, Ubiquity Ventures, and Sousa Ventures. Total funding, $25 million. The World Economic Forum named extreme weather and weather uncertainty as the biggest risk to businesses over the next decade. Winborn says its technology can make a two-week forecast as accurate as today's two-day forecast. Back to you guys. That would be so exciting. May, may, that feels like the final frontier if we can actually crack weather forecasting. So talk to us about the balloons, Diana. How do they direct them or guide them? How, do they get them back? Well, uh, big shock, they use a smartphone to do it, and they have this special flight software that helps them to steer around certain areas. They can tell the balloons to even move around geographical locations that might be dangerous, like Israel or Ukraine, and they can have it either drop sand in order to go higher or drop air in order to go lower and set it into a certain wind stream where it surfs the air and then they can direct it around where they need to go. Now, the balloons, when they're done, they do fall back to earth in their waste, but there, they say there are so many fewer of these balloons necessary than the traditional government balloons that while they may you know, have waste products from, say, a dozens or a couple of hundred balloons, the government wastes thousands of them. Kelly. Wow. All right. Thank you very much, Diana Olick reporting.